light of the recent extraterrestrial incursion, this Council of Nations has convened to approve the activation of the XCOM project. You have been chosen to lead this initiative to oversee our first and last line of defense. Your efforts will have considerable influence on this planet's future. We urge you to keep that in mind as you proceed. Good luck, Commander. Okay, everybody, welcome to Season 3 of XCOM. Season 3? What? People are like, you're playing this game three times? Well, this is for a roleplay thing that we're doing over at GreyLinesGaming.com. You'll see links at the beginning and end of the video also in the description. So if you'd like to sign up, you can head over there. We have a ton of people signed up already. Um, the other thing you could check out is everyone's journals that they're writing. This season we have a lot more rules in place to ensure a more cohesive story. So if you're interested in seeing how things are playing out, head on over to the journals there. And uh, I think this is going to be the best season yet. I'm very, very excited. Uh, let's jump into this here. The first couple episodes, I may go on a few different missions. We've got, uh, we've got all of our recruits selected for the first little while. I'm pretty excited to see how they perform. Now, there's always the debate on which uh, starting base location is the best. I stand by the fact that Asia is probably the best for the long term. Uh, it's really difficult to capture Asia because they have so many different countries. I think it's probably best to save Africa as early as possible and try to get that bonus by ensuring that none of the countries leave. Um, so we'll try to get some satellites up in Africa. South America is nice, but it's not um, essential. Whereas Asia, we try to get to that officer training school as fast as possible, and then we can get a fifth squad made out, we can get early upgrades for our soldiers, more EXP, uh, things like that. So I am going to go with Asia again, and I am going to be a lot more successful than Season 2, I hope. <laughs> that is the goal. Australia has sent a number of requests for assistance, so that's our next drop site. We've picked up a local broadcast indicating alien activity within a major metropolitan area. We should get down there and eliminate any hostiles. Now, I do want to explain something really quick because if you're looking over at the Grey Lines Gaming forums right now and you see that there is a woman signed up third, but you notice there's four men on this ship. You're actually going to notice that the first batch of recruits are all men. I do have a mod that lets me select whether or not I want to... Uh, adjust the probability of gender for a recruit. So I've spoken with the individual that had signed up. Um, she has graciously accepted that I will hire her specially after our first mission because I couldn't get the, the formulas right. So our first 10 guys are all men, which makes sense with most of the people that signed up in the first place. And then everybody will be drafted in order, except for the special lady in third space. She will be drafted right after this, and then her priority will be the same as it originally was. So we are an Operation Enduring Giant in Melbourne, Australia. Let's get in there. Strike one, this is central. You are free to engage all hostile contacts in the AO. Don't take any chances. Okay, so um, you guys, especially if you're if you're signed up early, you're gonna wanna pay attention to these first four guys here and figure out which one I promote to be yourself in the end because you're probably going to wanna reference some of the things that happened in this mission. So if you're one of the first five people signed up, uh, pay special attention to these guys and for the girl that signed up third uh, you're gonna get a special recruit after this mission so let's get moving in here 
I'm hoping that things go smooth. We'll just try and get into full cover here as much as possible. Go on, go on. What do you know? Life on Earth. We're witnessing something never before seen in recorded history. I'm probably going to work on defense first uh, from a base perspective. Uh, once this mission is done, hopefully everyone makes it out of this mission alive. When you're doing the first mission, it's pretty important to try and... To try and... Like, if you can get everybody a kill, then everybody gets a promotion, which is really nice, so... Uh, we are playing on Classic Iron Man, so... You can't reload saves. Got it covered. Got it covered. Got it covered. Everything is permanent. If somebody dies, it is all over. Oh, look, we got, got like a ton here. of action already here. First shot of the season. The Giant miss. It's okay, we're warming up. Jeez. These guys are all over the place. Alright, let's see if we can't get a flank off here. We should be able to get a pretty nice one, actually. There we go. Let's see if we can take him down. McGregor. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, that is XCOM for you. Absolutely. Let's see if I can get another... It's not going to be a flank, but it's going to be a, probably a better vantage point. Nope, 28%. 34%. I could just use a grenade, but I prefer to do that when I have to take out a whole bunch of these guys. But I don't really have a lot of better options yet. So let's just take the guaranteed kill. Someone's going to be pissed at us for using grenades. Commander, you may want to instruct your men to exercise restraint when using explosives. While certainly effective at killing aliens, they also destroy the artifacts we're hoping to recover from the bodies. Just something to consider. Yeah, thanks. She's going to be pretty pissed at me then. Uh, so our first kill was with Mirakami. That is awesome. Things are going well so far. We've got a 25% shot. That's not great, so I'm going to hunker down back here. And we'll overwatch with Koopa. I've got my eyes on The nice thing about getting everybody a kill is that you get one of each class right off the bat. So that gives you a lot of flexibility. All right, we got one gray on Overwatch. Uh-oh. I'm all right. Okay. Blew up his cover. That's not good. He's going to take a hit here for sure. Oh, just barely alive. Okay, Mirakami, they are a little bit pissed at you, understandably. I'm a bit worried that uh, the Overwatch is going to hurt us. But these two that are sitting over here, these are just nice sitting ducks. Let's see if Dobrian can handle them. Going out. Enjoy this. Okay. Success. Now, I am actually... I'm probably going to get a shot... <laughs> you and McGregor. Is that not like a... Isn't that like an, an actual actor's name? I don't know. <laughs> Maybe that's just stereotypical, like, Scottish. Anyways, I'm going to have you and move over here. He may take a reaction shot. But I have to be able to get Mirakami out of here. And if I don't... Um... If I move with him and he gets hit, he's for sure dead. Whereas hopefully Ewan can draw it and not die. We'll see. Nice. 
And we should get a nice flanking bonus here. 65%. McGregor, put him down. There you go. Right down. Okay, so now we've got kills Their with... weapons appear to self-destruct when the operator dies. We should look closely for any fragments that could be salvaged for our own development programs. So now we have kills with Murakami. We've got a kill with McGregor. And we've got a kill with... Two kills with uh, Dobrynin. So we just need to now get Kumba into the mix here. And I may see if I can sneak this grenade through here and just take... Ah, uh, it's not a guarantee though. So that's not gonna work. Where can I put this guy in a good position to take this alien out? Half cover is not what I would consider to be a great position. I can now move Mirakami, who I'm going to have to kind of babysit here for a second. Because he is dangerously close to being out of commission. I'll switch up Kumba here. Uh, Kumba does not have a shot, unfortunately. And the grenade is not going to kill this one. So I'm going to Overwatch. And we'll see how this goes. McGregor is probably going to get hit here. Okay, he's panicked, so that's a good start. Very nice. Okay, that actually works out okay. Because that puts us in a good position to get this kill. Oh, he's kind of hidden there with Kumba. Let's see. How's our chances? I would like to get the kill without using a grenade so that we can get the materials. And we know there's another alien on the map because this one's being uh, mind controlled. So I'm going to try to take the 65% here. There it is. There we go. Bye bye. All right, everybody's got kills now, so that makes me quite happy. Everybody's got their feet wet. And now I want to get everybody up into the mix. I do kind of have to babysit a bit. I've got my eyes on. I'm hoping this guy doesn't take a shot here. All right, this is good. We should be in a pretty good spot. We've got a flank shot available, because he's just sitting in the open. Kinda not ideal for him, but... I mean, I'm not gonna argue, I'm happy about it. McGregor's got a 71% chance. We got two really good chance here, so let's, uh, let's go for it. Boomba, done. Good work out there, strike one. If I may, Commander, the labs are on high alert. Teams are standing by for your orders. We can begin researching the newly recovered artifacts immediately. Okay, congratulations, recruits. Everybody has survived. Uh, somebody may be in critical condition, but we'll see once we get back to base what that's looking like. Welcome to XCOM HQ, Commander. I'm Central Officer Bradford. My role in this project is twofold. Providing tactical support for our field operations, and keeping you briefed on the current situation. My efforts should allow you to focus on the bigger issues at hand. Speaking of which, we have a soldier waiting for a promotion in the barracks. I'll let you get to it. Commander to the research labs. Commander to the research labs. And here we are. The very familiar and the very comfortable XCOM base. So everybody has been promoted. Here it is. Uh, even though some people are gravely wounded, that's okay. So I'm going to point out who you're going to be right now. And then I'll make the changes and I will cut back in. So if we take a look here. Commander to the research lab. Katsumi Commander Mirakami with one kill, labs. one mission is going to be Space Patty. Rookie Dennis Dobrynin, a sniper, is going to be Booker Conan. Rookie Chike Kumba is going to actually end up being Preseriov Esteri as a heavy. 
And rookie Ewan McGregor is actually research going labs. to be Zayn Shaw as a support. I am going to hire Anya Kier because I will be able to change the mod to make sure that we hire a female. So I'm going to phase back in and show you all of our recruits that have been hired, and then we're going to go on another mission. Be right back. Okay, here is our list of recruits. What I'm going to do is quickly introduce you to them, give you a very, Commander very to brief... The research labs. Commander to the research labs. Thank you for interrupting me. Very, very brief description uh, of their history. So, in order, we have Space Patty. He is an Irish ranger who joined the UN Peace Corps. And on his first outing, he had some shrapnel in his leg, spent the last few months of recovery. He is one of the best and the brightest. Next, we have Booker Conan, a former mercenary who typically cleans up after a Commander large war, goes in and Commander does all the, the dirty work labs. that nobody else wants to do. Welcome to the squad. Next, we have Proseria of Asteri, who is a former drug runner, government appointed assassin, and now an XCOM recruit. Next, we have Zane Shaw, who hasn't really got a lot of experience but he is a professional hunter and can aim quite well, even against small targets. He's looking at this opportunity for a way to become more selfless and help other people. A support role is going to be great for him. Next up, we have Rex Rumbler, who was actually enlisted into the military at a young age by his father. And his father now owes people some money, so he's actually here to hopefully earn some of that and help out his papa. Next up, we have Vash the Stampede, Self-proclaimed hippie, he's here for love and peace, brother. Jorn Lemonade, hailing from the Netherlands, comes from a long line of fishermen. Next up, we have Joel Freeman. He's a 33-year-old former member of the U.S. Army Rangers. Lots of experience. Looking forward to his services. Not sure if he has a brother or not. Colum Campbell is a very young recruit, 21 years old, dropped out of school at 18 and joined the military. He's looking forward to his time here in XCOM. Might not be easy to tell from this picture, but Big Farmer is a whopping 7 feet tall, 375 pounds. I'm pretty sure we can put him to good use. Next up is Daniel Udvater, who had a very impressive application. I urge you guys to check it out. He was born and raised in Rotterdam in the Netherlands. He does have a few instances of insubordination, let's call it. And I'm hoping that that doesn't become an issue here in XCOM. Colin Wegger is here from Germany. He's got a wife and a daughter back home that he is thinking about every day and he wants to keep safe. And last but not least, I'm going to direct you to the new soldier that arrives at XCOM in three days, Anya Kier. She's now living in the Irish countryside and is an avid outdoorsman. I'm sure that her survivalist skills are going to come in quite handy. So, I do have some base management to attend to now that we've met all of our recruits. Let's check out the research lab. Hello, Commander. My name is Dr. Farlan. I oversee the research labs. This is where all of XCOM's research and development takes place. We have already begun analyzing the artifacts recovered from our first encounter with the aliens. Based on our preliminary findings, we believe we can use them to develop some new equipment for our soldiers. With your approval, we will begin research immediately. Do what you will, Valen. Do what you will. Let's get in here. First thing I want to actually research is going to be alien materials. Commander to engineering. Commander get some to engineering. additional defense in place for our recruits. I think that's going to be uh, the best place to begin this season. Commander, I realize our troops have to put their own survival first, but... Every alien we use explosives against is one less opportunity to recover new artifacts. Yes, thank you, Valen. Um, I love all of your advice. It is, it is just, you're just charming. Ah, Commander. I was wondering when you'd be stopping by. Welcome to engineering. Anything they can dream up in the research labs, we can build it here. Speaking of which, Dr. Valen has just sent us some new schematics. With your approval, we will begin fabrication. That works for me. Let's see what you got going on in here. We do have med kits, which is nice. 
Uh, I do want to get a satellite up and running Commander right now. Control. Commander to mission control. Let's also check We've out our facilities. Got some room to grow up here, but if we really want to expand our facilities, we're going to have to start excavating beneath the base. Unfortunately, the deeper we go, the more it's going to cost. So we're in a pretty good position for anything that we want to build next. Probably a satellite uplink, which requires another five power. So Commander I'm not going to build that yet. Control. Commander to mission control. So what I will do, however, is buy a med kit. Since we do have a support on the, on the field, we can't actually give it to rookies, but uh, I think it's pretty good to have a grenade with them to try and get them to level up a little quicker. So... Let's grab a medikit. We're down to $50. I think that's pretty much it. We'll go to mission control. And we're going to scan for activity. And if Anya shows up before anything happens, then we will get her in here. There we go. New soldier on site one. Let's meet her. There she is. So this, ladies and gentlemen, is Anya Kier. There we go. Welcome to the team, rookie. You'll be seeing action very soon, I presume. Very soon. Here we go. Commander, we've picked up multiple requests for assistance. Abductions in progress are marked on the hollow globe. Okay, so we have a few different options here. Uh, typically, the early missions I find best to prioritize based on your reward. So, these other ones uh, in India and United Kingdom are going to have to wait. I am going to go to Argentina for the engineers because that lets us open up the build tree a little bit and fabricate anything that we need to. So, we're going to Argentina. Let's rock. Who are we going to take? Tough question. We've got rookie, or uh, squaddy Conan now as a sniper, definitely coming with us. We have Asteri as a heavy coming with us. Let's see who else here. We still have a couple people in the med bay, Zane Shah, support, and Space Patty, the assault. So I am actually going to bring Anya. Welcome to the team. And let's see. I believe it's Rumbler that's up next. So there we go. Who do I want to give a med kit to? You know what I'm going to do? This is going to be really weird, but we have to be a agile and adaptable. We're going to give the heavy the med kit. He's got the rocket launcher, so he's got the explosives already. And he should be able to take up the additional HP uh, compared to one of our rookies. So let's get out onto the field. Wish us luck. If anything, the flight is passing some time for those in the infirmary bay. Touching down. We're moving into Argentina next. The threat there seems to be the most pressing. Operation Hidden Giant in Mendoza, Argentina. Let's get going. Central, this is Big Sky. Strike team is touching down now. Standing by for your orders. Roger, Big Sky. Reading you five by five. Strike one has the green light for deployment. All right, as usual, my in, my preferred strategy is to find a good position for our sniper. And that's probably going to end up being right here on this truck. Uh, I'm going to advance with Prasaryov first to see if there's anything that's gonna be uncovered. Weapons hot. Oh yeah, right away. Let's see if they retreat enough so that they leave our vision, and they do. This is a good sign. I'm now going to bring Booker up here so he's ready for next turn. Oh, he's in vision. Oh, that's going to be tough. If he misses, I do hope that he misses this way and does not hit the truck, at least. That would be ideal. Our other two rookies, we've got Anya. We're going to move over to this car, and she's going to be followed by Rex. 
Let's, um... Let's overwatch in case somebody comes running down here, but I doubt they will. If I had to guess, I would assume the one back here is going to mind control the one in front. Oh, I could, I'm wrong. And we get some reaction shots here. Oh, that's nice. It's a good start. A kill would have been great, but everybody keep your heads down. Going for the rookies. Uh-oh. Anya's panicking already. Well, she's turned help. her panic into a kill. Help! Help! Someone help! Oh no! It's raining death over here. <laughs> oh! Everybody, just chill. Okay, Anya, chill. Stop panicking. Booker, solid as a rock up here. We've got Presaryov a little bit. Uh, it's making me a little bit nervous. And. <laughs> Did I? That is weird. Look at this. This must be just a weird glitch because of the panic, but it's showing as a headshot for Perseriov, and he doesn't have his um, his medikit, which is super bizarre. We're gonna Overwatch. I've got my eyes on. And I'm actually going to try and bring. Rex over this side of the barrier. We know we've got some action down this way. I'm going to try to get him up to this car uh, next turn. I'm on it. All right, Conan. Here's your first chance to prove yourself. No pressure. And okay. I'll get him next time. All right. I believe you. I believe you. They're starting to lose ground. That's an interesting position. Okay, so I can move back here, and I'm going to, because I want uh, Anya in this fight. So we're going to heal up. Good as new. What's interesting is Rex was on Overwatch, did not see this sectoid come into his field of view. Uh, a little disappointing, however, I think we're still in a pretty good spot. I'm going to move over into full cover, though. Hopefully the shot remains the same. Let's see if you can take him down. There he is. Good job, Rex. Very nice job. All right, and now I'm going to start advancing our rookies a bit. Conan, you're going to stay here on Overwatch. Until we get Berseriov back in the action. Okay, here we go. Take cover on the car. Now I'll actually move Rex up this path. Contact. Oh, hello. Okay, so the good thing is he can still retreat into full cover. So nothing too dangerous. They are out of his field of view, so it's tempting to just stay there. But uh, I'm going to retreat him. We're going to play it safe. And hopefully we can entice these guys to come towards us. Let's see here. We'll put Rosariov up in half cover. And I'm not sure if Conan will have sight here, but we will soon find out. On Overwatch. If that sectoid comes at us, he's going to be in a heap Quiet. of trouble. Did you hear something? Oh, interesting. Interesting. Heads up. Oh, wow. These sectoids are on right now. They are on. There's one reaction shot. Very close, actually, Anya. Very close. Let's go, Perseriov. Oh, so close. Negative damage. Going for the rookie again. Oh, Anya. I feel for you, but oh my god. Things are very, very dangerous here right now. 
I think this may be an opportunity to just clean up a little bit. Preseriov to the rescue. Just, yeah, just go to town. Play it safe. Okay. We... I'm concerned about our rookies right now. Anya has been hit so many times. I'm not sure how she's going to handle things. We're going to reload her. Reload Rumbler. And we'll overwatch Booker. Moving to overwatch. All right, let's get uh, Perseriov up here. Let's see if there's anything he can see. Nothing so far. We're gonna take it very carefully. Overwatch. Aye, aye. I'm gonna actually reload Perseriov oh, yeah. here. And there's just, there's no good cover opportunities, unfortunately. I might move the rookies up the left side here. Let's do this. On Overwatch. Scanning. There's something out there. Okay. Something is close. I'm going to take a look with Berseriov. I can't get quite into that full cover, unfortunately. Um, and I would like to be able to retreat to behind this car if possible, but... We'll see. Okay, so far so good. Definitely don't want to spot him with Rumbler. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take it really cautiously here with these rookies. Losing a rookie this early on would be quite devastating. I don't think we're alone out here. I don't think so either, brother. All right, I have a feeling that this is gonna cause some action. Enemy in sight. There it is. Now that's an interesting approach from them basically just charged right at us. I could go up here. I'm, not, I'm still not going to get a flank shot. And I don't have great cover. I'm going to go back into full cover here. Potentially... Anya could hit with a grenade here. But I'm not sure if she'll be blocked from vision of this guy. This is a tough call. I may actually just get Trevor to come up here and use his grenade. Potentially killing both. What are our chances? Like 47% on that guy. That's not bad. Certainly not great. Let's move Rex over here. If I move Anya up to the edge of this thing, I may be able to kill this one with a grenade. Let's see what happens. Okay, so she is in vision here. Looks like I could get the grenade kill on this guy. So that's a bonus. But I would have to guarantee that this kill happens somehow. Which I could potentially get if I'm up here... 
with Booker's grenade. I think that I think that could happen. So let's move him in here as far as we can, even though he won't be in cover. Let's see. Does it reach? Oh, it just reaches. Can he get both? No, he can't. All right, this one's going down. Can he not throw a grenade after his first? Sure he can. There it is. Eat this. Okay. And Anya. Make it count. Going out. Okay. Things are tense right now. A lot more tense than I was hoping they would be, but these recruits are going to earn their stripes, that's for sure. Okay. Let's... I don't even know. I think I'm going to go over to the truck with Booker. Yep, that's a good call. Let's move Anya up to the car. And let's get Rex up to this car as well on a dash. And then... Let's actually, for this turn, let's just get Preseryov over here in case anybody comes down this runway. They'll take a few uh, Overwatch shots. What's making that noise? Okay, we know that they're close. Let's scout out with Anya. Nothing so far. Come get on over. On over. Watch. Aye aye. <laughs> Okay, now this is going to be an interesting move. This is probably going to reveal something somewhere. It's just a matter of what. Let's go with Preseryov. It's... Ooh, interesting. Okay, nothing. <laughs> Let's see, let's get Rex over here. I'd like to actually bring him behind this truck. I don't even trust half cover right now, so... Even though it's gonna burn all his turns, I'm okay with it. Eyes on the pro. Got it covered. Eyes peeled, Commander. Hey, you hear anything? Okay, we're still in the clear. Let's move up to the truck with Rex. Looks like we're safe from this side. All the noise is coming from this direction. We'll lap over with Anya. And... Still clear. Interesting. Let's bring Preseryov over here. The one thing you gotta be careful with is bringing everyone up to this truck and then they set this thing on fire. We'd have to move ASAP. Uh, Now, we do have these alien pods up here that we can take cover behind, and I'm going to do that with Berseryov. Still nothing. Very interesting. Very interesting. I'm going to move the rookies over to the car. 
I am one more round of Overwatch. Shield, Commander. Covering now. We're getting close. I don't think we're alone out here. It's making me a little bit nervous. I'm gonna move over again with Berseriov. Still nothing. All right, Rex, come back to the truck. I'm gonna have Booker take cover on this alien pod. Roger, I've got eyes Roger, on. I've got my Roger. eyes on some. Here we go. Oh, Tanya! Frickin' very impressive shot. Actually, very, very impressive shot. Now, only Perseriov has vision here. Do we have any other grenades? We do with Rumbler. However, he is going to be out of range. It does appear, however, this could be our last alien. There's a 47% chance, which is not bad at all. From this distance, you can't ask for a lot better than that. The question is, do I want to entice this guy to come over here? I think I do, actually. If we can get him to come closer, then we can get all of our guys in a better position to kill him. So if I go over here, I'm hoping to be out of vision. Yep. I'm Overwatch. Got it covered. Moving to Overwatch. Overwatch. Let's see what happens. This does open us up to use... He's moving. What the hell was that? Okay, not quite. Let's see what happens if I put him on the truck. I gotta be weary of an Overwatch shot, though. So I'm actually gonna hold up again here. People are probably concerned that I'm being overly cautious here, but I've got two very injured rookies, and I'm pretty concerned about it. Oh, look at this. 98% chance. Please make this happen. There it is. Taken care. Mission accomplished. Boom! Good job, recruits. Very impressive. Anya's resiliency is like, whoa, I can't believe she didn't just give up. Very happy to see that. Let's get back to base here. We'll check in with our recruits and see what kind of trouble we're going to get into. Commander to the Situation Room. Okay. Commander to the Situation Room. We've got promotions to dish out. Uh, Squaddy Preseriov, like, five kills already. He's already up to a corporal, and we have to go. We have to absolutely choose Bullet Swarm. So, basically, he can take two shots right up front if he wants to. His aim isn't bad, if I'm just looking at the stats. 68. We'll get the scope on there to bring it up to 78 soon enough. Um, Rex Rumbler, aim of 70, is now a support. That's very good. I like when we get supports with a high aim percentage. It makes them super versatile. Uh, so he's also got the smoke grenade now. He will be out for five days. <laughs> Rookie Anya Kier is gravely wounded for 17 days. I, I'm just happy she's alive. She is also going to be a support with an aim of 70. So, things are looking pretty good considering, considering what we went through there. Uh, workshops are available. We see panic has increased across Asia and Europe. Panic in Argentina decreased though, and we did get four we engineers. Will be in touch, Commander. So, let us take a look at Rex here as a support. I'm going to give him his new digs. Commander to the Situation Room. Commander to the Situation Room. You'll notice the supports this time are going in whites. I like that. I like that over the yellow. 
We are already a little support heavy, though. Which is going to make, uh... Jockeying for position fairly interesting. We've got three supports. A sniper, a heavy, and an assault. So I would expect some of these next guys to be promoted to something other than this. We should have a bunch of recruits coming back shortly here. Let's go to mission control and see what's going to happen. Zane Shaw is back. Nanofiber vests are available for manufacture. And I'm probably going to take advantage of that. What else do we got here? We could go into Xenobiology. Commander to the Situation Room. Commander which would let us do some room. additional research. This is a tough one. Over the weapon fragments. Let's do Xenobiology because that gives us some of the weapon upgrades and then... Yeah, I'm gonna go Xenobiology. I'm still having a hard time grasping what it is the aliens are hoping to accomplish here. Are they studying us? Why abduct humans seemingly at random? There must be a pattern that we haven't established yet. Okay, we've also unlocked nanofiber vests now. They're $15. Or 15 credits, I should say. That's not bad. Probably a good idea to put on all of our rookies. Even though that would remove their grenade. Um, that will keep them alive. Commander to the Situation Room. Most likely. Commander to the Situation Room. So let's check out our situation Every room. member of the council is going to want satellite coverage. So we should plan our deployments carefully. So here's what's what's interesting. India, um, like this is already fairly high panic. Um, what's good though is Africa is in a very nice position. And I'm very happy about that because I'd like to save them. That being said, I'm going to be forced to uh, satellite up the areas with high panic. So... It's kind of a double-edged sword a little bit. Okay. People are returning. All right. Let's scramble the interceptor. Send out our first Raven. UFO contact. We're sending Raven number one. I do believe we have a pilot in the roleplay as well, so this will be his first mission. Very cool. We have eyes on the bandit. Okay, interceptor shot down this they target UFO. Everyone's this happy. is Voodoo 37. <laughs> we have a confirmed kill on Bogey 001. I repeat, the UFO is down. I'll copy, over. Solid copy, Voodoo 37. Nice work. Central out. All right, people. Retask Recon Satellite Bravo and get me a visual on that crash site. She's coming into range now, sir. On screen. Magnify. Still in one piece. Commander, I recommend we get a strike team to the crash site immediately. You know it. You know it. Okay, so here's what's happening. I'm gonna be sending the Sky Ranger. And I don't know who I'm gonna take out there yet, but we have a lot of people that are back in action and healthy. The only person who is not is Anya, who is gonna be out for yet another 10 days. Probably close to the end of the month. But we do have a lot of great options to choose for, and most likely we'll take out a rookie as well. Perhaps Vash, it looks like Vash is going to be next. So, thank you guys once again. I really appreciate it. I, I love playing XCOM, and I, I'm super stoked on the role plays. They're really enjoyable to watch. So, with that, I'm going to leave you guys hanging. And next week, we will be going to take care of this UFO. Wish me luck. Bye.